Hi guys, uh, Sharath here. So in my last video, I talked about one of the Jekyll themes, Lanyon, uh, how to install it, what are the issues you face while installing it and how to solve them. So in this video, I'll show you how to host a website using GitHub. You should have the source files though, uh, like the styling, uh, JavaScript, HTML, everything. So if you have them, you can just upload it and your, uh, your website is ready. So uh, why I'm showing this because uh, it might help somebody uh, who is a new designer, web designer, uh, web developer who, who is trying to buy a hosting space. Uh, what I suggest is don't buy a hosting space because uh, it, it, it will cost you around $10 or $12 a month, uh, which you shouldn't be doing. What you should be spending on is on courses to learn and people who can teach you. So spend on them. Uh, not on these uh, tools. Uh, all the tools are available for free. When I was a beginner, I spent a lot of money on uh, hosting space, so which I shouldn't have. Um, you know, eventually, I, I found GitHub, uh, which is a lifesaver. I can't thank them enough, but I try to spread the word. Um, GitHub is um, not meant for hosting websites, but it is uh, meant for hosting your code, any kind of code, uh, whatever language it is in. But when you host a HTML source and you put it in the right branch, it can be hosted as a website. So I'll show you how easy it is. First thing is to find out a layout. So what I uh, suggest is to find a good layout that you want. Uh, usually you can uh, go for bootstrap themes. But here uh, I go for HTML5up.net um, where I can find uh, some themes easily. This one looks good. Uh, it says it is phantom. What you can do is um, You can download it and uh, It's in a zip file you just have to unzip it and uh, Your files are ready to be hosted. So Okay, I'm gonna extract all those because it is zipped So these files are ready. I'll, I'll keep it here now I'll go back to GitHub. So what you should be doing is uh, create a new repository and name it something. Um, um, okay, I'll name it Phantom. And uh, description, um, new website. Uh, Initialize with uh, readme. I mean, it's not necessary, but it's good if you have something in the repository. So there is a readme file when you create it. Now, uh, this process is pretty much the same. You have to create a GH pages branch. It's created and it's a good idea, as I said in the last video, to make it a default branch. So instead of master, you're selecting GH pages as the default branch. And now, uh, Go back to code, your GH pages, uh, the only file it has is readme. We have to upload files. Here is the button. Uh, we'll upload everything that we have uh, that we extracted. So it has, it also has a readme. Uh, let's leave it because we have a readme already inside and drag and drop it. So it has 59 files it says. Uh, we'll wait for the upload to finish. Okay, uh, looks like everything got uploaded. Only when everything gets uploaded, uh, go to the bottom and uh, type some message um, and commit all the changes. Only when you commit, your changes are saved. So once you do that, your file should appear in your repository phantom. Okay, this already. Now, uh, since we have put it in GH pages branch, it should be hosted. So let's go to settings and see the URL, open it up. And there you go. Your website is ready. Okay. You can change anything you want here. Um, the logo, the name and the images and the menu items, um, a footer, the social icon links, uh, the form, and everything. So 
uh, for a beginner it, it could be hard to do all those and uh, some features like the form here may not work if you use a PHP file uh, to send messages so in order to solve these things I have a blog called uh, blog.webserver.com um, here I have discussed many things that I have faced uh, and I have found some solutions and uh, you can go through the blog and uh, you know uh, create a good website using it and do suggest you know what do you want to see in my blog if if I'm missing some article on some feature uh, that you want on your website uh, then do suggest uh, you can comment on this video or comment on my blog uh, saying that you need this kind of feature or you want a video on this kind of uh, thing uh, I can do it for you So yeah, I hope I hope you liked the video hit like and then if, if I helped you in some way and Watch out for my next videos until then. Bye. Bye